sudden deaths can be classified due to deaths from heart muscle diseases, cardiac conduction disorders and other genetic disorders of the electrical system of the heart. Let's talk about heart muscle diseases. These are known as the cardiomyopathies. Cardio means heart, myopathy means muscle problem. And the cardiomyopathies that are commonly implicated in sudden death in young people are, condition, are the are hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy, and dilated cardiomyopathy. Now these uh, sound like a bit of a mouthful, but hypertrophic cardiomyopathy basically means abnormal thickening of the heart muscle. Arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy is a condition that predominantly affects the right part of the heart and is characterized by replacement of the heart muscle by scar tissue and fatty tissue. And dilated cardiomyopathy usually means a big, baggy, floppy heart that does not contract very well. So these are the cardiomyopathies. Then we come to the cardiac conduction tissue diseases. These are diseases of the electrical system of the heart. And in this situation, it may be that the electrical system just doesn't work very well and the heart may stop suddenly. It could be that the individual is born with not just one electrical circuit that most of us have, but maybe two or three. And these electrical circuits can actually conduct in various ways. You've got electricity going down two different circuits, which can set up a circuit movement like this and make the heart beat very, very fast and degenerate into a very dangerous rhythm. This is a typical example. A typical example of this is the wolf Parkinson White syndrome, which is characterized by an electrical link between the top chambers of the heart and the bottom chambers of the heart, and this is a recognized cause of sudden death. Then we've got other electrical faults of the heart that are that occur at molecular level. These are small holes in all the heart cells that allow certain salts to go in and out of the cell as the electricity passes by, and we call these the ion channel disorders. These holes are known as ion channel disorders. And diseases within the ion channels can cause various syndromes known as the long QT syndrome, the short QT syndrome, Brugada syndrome, and catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. Once again, they sound like a massive mouthful, but in essence, these are deaths that occur in people who are apparently well. In some cases, they occur during adrenergic stimuli, that, by that I mean lots of adrenaline in the bloodstream, exercise, intense emotion, auditory stimuli such as loud concerts, but sadly in some cases these deaths occur at rest, usually during sleep.